Hey, what's up guys? Here's another segment of mail time. And another thing I ordered from Amazon a couple days ago finally came in. And let's see what's in the box today. First on the list. Uh, a lighting kit for my DJI Mini 2. So these things act as like flashlights or floodlights for a drone. So if I decide to fly during at night, um, it actually helps illuminate up to about six, seven feet ahead of it. I mean, which is not too much of a distance, but at the same time though, it's like, um, Essentially, it's it's like a just to help see through through in 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 in, in uh, night night flight situations. Um, I also have a beacon light for uh, some of my smaller drones, but uh, hopefully this should help out in terms of flying flying at night, and then I could visually see things better. I mean, it's going to come out pixelated since everything's all being recorded digitally, but whenever you have like artificial lighting happening in place, what happens is, is that it's going to create a lot of pixelization uh, and slight distortion on the image as versus to flying during the daytime when you have actual natural lighting. All right, and then the last piece in the box is actually a micro drone. Micro drones are a class of drones that uh, are meant to be flown mostly indoors. You can fly it outdoors, but the thing is, though, micro drones do not handle even small gusts of wind or just some sort of like a, a breeze. I mean, it depends on what kind of micro drone you're flying. I mean, I've found I've flown some micro drones in the past, but the problem is, though, is that even I remember one time I actually like just blew into it, it's like, whoosh, right? That <laughs> thing went, went <laughs> just went away. So this is by 4DR, it's a company that, um, or four, I'm sorry, 4, 4DRC. So they make drones just like any other company out there that makes their own class of drones too. I mean, there's just, Outside of like DJI, Altel, and uh, a few others to mention, or I won't even care to mention, um, a lot of these smaller end companies um, produce either clones of DJI drones, but barely even perform half of what it can actually do. But at the same time, though, I mean, if you're looking to get into the scene and, you know, you're not trying to find anything to break the budget. Um, up until recently, when back in 2019, when DJI released a uh, the Mavic Mini, I mean, it was like the first like true budget drone. Well, technically, it would be the 2017 DJI Spark that was meant for people, or especially like who do a lot of social media postings, like I do. But as well, I do, I do some semi-professional and professional um, camera camera works as well too, or aerial cinematography as well. Anyway, so let's get into this real quick. I mean, obviously it's not charged, so I'm gonna have to do a separate segment follow-up video after this one. Um, the whole entire recording length of this mail time segment is actually gonna go on my YouTube channel, but. I'm going to cut this down into a one minute segment for all my TikTok followers out there. All right, so comes in this nice, lovely case. Portable and travel, though. Yeah. All right, so here is the drone itself. Oh my gosh. All right, off the bat, yeah, the, um, the drone's embedded in there. Kind of, sort of difficult to take it out I'm gonna try it uh, there we go there we go there we go oh my gosh the battery came out. 
So, I guess you just slide in the battery like this. So you know this is the back end of it. You're gonna slide in and it should click in or if not, just kind of more or less force its way in there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so it snaps in. So you have to give it a little bit of pressure, a little bit of a push. All right. So the camera itself is not on a gimbal. A gimbal is um, a type of uh, rotational device that helps keep uh, things stabilized or it does an autocorrect. So if you do fly normally without a gimbal system, what happens is that the camera is just going to be free to like, you know, move around. But an electronic gimbal stabilization helps helps to keep the camera steady. So you can fly it almost as wildly as you want. But the interesting part about electronic stabilization gimbals is that it helps correct um, and keeps the shot uh, steady as well too. All right, so let's unfold this real quick. Wow. It's quite interesting how sometimes when I shop on Amazon and then they make it seem like it's like a big, big thing or it's a big item, like, or the way it's shown in the, in the photos. When in actuality, this thing unfolded, which I think I have it unfolded all the way, fits right on the palm of my hand. And some micro drones are even much smaller than this. So this will be like in the larger class of the micro micro drone series. Put that aside for a moment. Controller. And I believe I can mount my cell phone in here. And it actually can support up to an iPhone 12 Max from my understanding that I saw from one gentleman's video on YouTube when he did a product review of this. So, well, I was going to use, once again, my, uh, my S21 Ultra is mounted on my ring light right now as I'm recording this. So... I'm pretty sure it'll fit in there if I take off my uh, OtterBox case on there. All right, so let's pull this back down. Right. Two other batteries are in here as well. And then a little bag came in here. So prop guards. I don't fly with prop guards. I mean, if you're a novice or you're just barely getting into it, or you're starting out, yeah, I highly suggest using prop guards. But after flying for a while, and when you get feel when you feel comfortable and you feel confident in flying, yeah, you don't want to take the extra time to actually put on these prop guards. But I am gonna leave it in this little baggie here. So just in case if somebody else wants to fly it and try it out, then they're they're gonna fly it with the uh, with the little uh, prop guards as well. Make sure, yeah. Four prop guards. And then extra props are in here too. For propeller blades. There go. And it looks like there's a set of four in there. And I have no idea what this doohickey does. I believe it might be for, oh, it's probably uh, to help set the pop guards in place. I'm not sure. And this little tool came in here. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. That's what the sets of instructions are for, right? Which I believe, yep. Yeah, that big. I swear this is almost as thick as the old school, like, VCR instructions back in the days, especially if you came from my generation, you know, Gen X and baby boomers who had to operate uh, VCRs, you know, prior back to the days where if you wanted to, you know, record something that you see on TV, a program or a show, you actually had to set your VCR and set the timer on it to record exactly. Actually, I don't not a big fan of seeing that like in the background killed in action yeah this was uh last weekend's recording of me uh and some of my friends from team fact who play uh 
Ghost Recon Wildlands for PC. So I have to scrub through the whole entire video and then put together a new episode on my YouTube channel as well. All right. Last thing that, ooh, what came in my mouth? What was in my mouth? Um, what came in this little baggie was this little screwdriver. So it's to help to, if I recall from that tutorial video, Once again, I'll figure it out. And then that charging cable should be here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so in order for me to recharge these batteries. Ah, okay. So it's a micro USB port. And then you have this. So it inserts right there. And that's pretty much it. And then you can plug it into your laptop or any device or anything that has like a USB power output. Other than that, uh, yeah. So like I said before, I am going to test test try this out this weekend and then do a, a follow-up YouTube video about this particular drone, this 4DRC. This is the uh, 4D V9 series micro, micro drone. So like I said, I will do a follow-up video on this at some point, or actually for this weekend. So either it's going to be posted up this Saturday evening, or if not, sometime in uh, this coming Sunday. Um, I have some other prior engagements as well, too. Uh, probably going to go have some Korean barbecue. So uh, if you guys caught my last live on TikTok, um, I actually did a near full full run or full live record live uh, showcasing of me eating at a Korean barbecue restaurant and for some of my TikTok uh, followers out there um, requested me to even actually do another one all right this is Tristan X droner of TikTok and Tristan X of Velfar Drone Squadron saying keep your social media game tight and keep on TikTok and for all my TikTok uh uh fellow or fellow tiktokers out there okay peace